Welcome to this DRA video demonstration. This video provides an overview of how a DRA administrator configures and delegates public folder management to assistant administrators, and then how those powers are employed by the assistant administrators. Microsoft Exchange provides the public folders feature so end users can easily share information within your organization. In DRA, controlling who has access to which public folders and what that access looks like is based on the public folder powers that you delegate to your assistant administrators who manage the folders for your organization's end users. As the DRA administrator, you configure the public folder environment by defining public folder for us and domains and then delegating roles and powers to your assistant admins through the use of active views. In this scenario, David, a DRA administrator, sets up the public folder environment and delegates powers to John, who is an assistant administrator. John then performs public folder related operations for end users. The first step that David wants to perform is to configure the public folder. For that, he launches the Delegation and Configuration Console and chooses New Public Folder Forest. He specifies the Active Directory Forest where the public folder objects are located. David chooses Use the Directory and Resource Administrator Service Account to access the account. He then chooses Use the Domain Access Account for all Exchange servers for secure access to Exchange servers. He selects the Exchange server that he wants DRA to use for managing public folders. He reviews the account details and Exchange server details, and then he clicks Finish to complete the process. The DRA server runs a full account's cache refresh on public folders. The new public folder account appears in the console after the cache refresh completes, which may take a few minutes. David decides to view public folder domain properties. For that, he selects the public folder account and clicks General to view the public folder account details and Exchange Server details. He also clicks Exchange Access to view Exchange Access account details. After viewing public folder domain properties, David decides to delegate public folder powers. For that, David browses to the Active Views, where he creates an object matching rule and selects public folders as the object type. He specifies the name for the active view and then clicks Finish. Now, David delegates public folder related powers to John, who is an assistant administrator. He completes the delegation process by clicking Finish. Now, John has all the powers related to public folders. He can create, modify, and search for public folders and perform other related actions. For that, he opens and logs into the web console. He then searches for a public folder that was created earlier. He can add name and location criteria to narrow the search or just click search to show all public folders. After finding the public folder, he enables the mail option. The public folder cannot be used unless mail is enabled. He then views the exchange related tabs General and Mail. While later deleting a folder, John realizes that the public folder contains important information that cannot be restored, so he cancels the deletion. He then views reports for the public folder. John now wants to create a public folder. For that, he clicks Create Public Folder and specifies the name and location for the folder, and then clicks OK. In this video, you have seen how a DRA administrator configured a public folder account and delegated public folder powers to an assistant administrator. The assistant administrator then used the web console to find a public folder, view and modify its properties, and then create a public folder. For more information about public folders, as well as other features available in the Directory Resource Administrator, see the documentation site. Thanks for watching.